All right. Everybody see my document camera? Give it a second. Everybody see my document camera? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna, we got it. All right. So back in physics, we have two conditions of equilibrium, right? The summation of the forces equals zero and the summation of the torques equals zero. All right, but we're not gonna use this because we're an engineering class. We're gonna use the summation of the moments equals zero. And if I think about this, what we've done in the past, If I have a wrench, right? And I apply a force here, this is gonna rotate in that direction. And we have our lever arm D. So remembering back to what we've got, we've got our lever arm D. Now this would be the maximum, right? This is the maximum that we could get. And if I applied the force this way, I'm going to get the minimum, right? And I can also apply the force. We can do applying the force. So we're going to apply the force. I'm going to make sure I'm drawing my picture right. I've got an angle there. And if we remember, this is a vector, okay? That's a vector. Now, if I've got the maximum, we know that, and we're gonna say that, that this moment is gonna equal force times distance. And that's the mag that you know the magnitude of that is going to be the maximum. And this gave us that direction. And we got to remember that we're going to have what we call the right hand rule. So if I'm rotating around, my thumb's going to go up on my right hand. If I'm rotating down, my thumb's going to go down. And this is going to be our clockwise direction goes into the page, counterclockwise direction comes out of the page. We're going to call D the moment arm. Okay, we're going to call D the moment arm. And this is going to be our axis. This is going to be the moment axis. And we're going to use this direction to be positive. We're going to use this direction to be negative. Okay. If we are going in the X, Y, and Z direction, the resultant moment about our position O is going to equal the sum of all the forces times the distance. And we are going to start using that directional arrow for things. But remember where this comes from, the moment is a vector and it's the it's going to be our distance crossed forces. And it's our cross product. Let me 
It's going to give us our cross product. So let's review, and that's what I really want to accomplish today, is a review of cross products. Okay, so if I have vector C, it's equal to A cross B. And if we go through this, this is going to be the magnitude of A, the magnitude of B, sine of my angle. And if I'm going to do this, I can also have a unit vector in the C direction. So it's still going to have direction and magnitude. We're still going to be able to get it, give us our unit vector, and we have that sign of the angle. Now, the cross products are interesting. A cross B is equal to minus B cross A. Okay. So if I've got C is equal to A cross B minus C is equal to B cross A. I don't have that normal product. Now I can do A, this is cross my vector. This is going to be little a cross b, which is also equal to a. So I can do this aspect. So I can play with that. I can also do Right? And if I do I cross J, I'm going to get K. If I do J cross K, I get I. If I do K cross I, I get J, which means I get, if I do it the other way, If I get um, I cross K, I'm going to get minus J. If I get J cross I, I get minus K. And if I do K cross J, I get minus I. And I cross I is equal to zero. J cross J is equal to zero. And K cross K is equal to zero. So I'm gonna come back to that because I'm gonna do it the long way. I get A cross B is gonna equal A X I plus A Y J plus A Z K. And I'm going to cross that with B X I plus B Y J plus B Z. K, and this is going to give me A X B X I cross I plus A X B Y I cross J plus A X B Z I cross K. 
I'm going to do the next one. I get A, Y, B, X, J cross I plus A, Y, B, Y, J cross J plus A, Y, B, Z. K cross, oops, it's J cross K. And then I get A, Z, B, X, K cross I plus A, Z, B, Y, K cross J. And I get A, Z, B, Z, K cross K. All right, from this over here, I cross I, J cross J, K cross K are all equal to zero. So that's zero, that's zero, that's zero. And I get I cross J, this is equal to K. I get I cross K, that's equal to minus J. I get J cross I, this is equal to minus K. I get J cross K, this is equal to I. I get K cross I, that's equal to J. I get K cross J, this is equal to minus I. So I'm gonna group things together. So if I do that, I'm gonna get A, Y, B, Z minus A, Z, B, Y, I minus, and I'm doing this on purpose, A, X, B, Z, minus A, Z, B, X, plus A, X, B, Y, minus A, Y, B, X, in the, in the K. And we've seen this before, because we can do it this way, A cross B is equal to if I do it in my matrix, I, J, K, A, X, B, X, A, Y, B, Y, A, Z, B, Z. And that gives me my determinant form. And that's going to equal this up here, which is why we put in that negative sign. And we're going to be using this metric matrix a lot. We're going to be using that matrix over and over and over again to get us our our our, our moments. So if I'm in Cartesian coordinates, my moment. Okay, my moment is going to be my R, it's not a unit vector, my R cross F, or I can do it as my D cross F, but that's going to give me my I, J, K, <coughs> R, X, R, Y, R, Z, F, X, F, Y, F, Z. And that's what we're going to use for our moments. And then my resultant is going to be the sum of all of those that I get. OK. 
Okay, making sense? So far, it's just reviewing the vector stuff. So we've got a pole. And my pole is like this. And we're going to say the height of this pole is 12 meters. This is my origin. I've got a rope that's coming down here. And this is my y axis. This is my x axis. And this is going to be not to scale. This is going to be four meters. And this is going to be 12 meters. Okay, the force that we're gonna use is two kilonewtons. And we wanna know the moment. So we're gonna solve for the moment. So the first thing I want to do is figure out our R, right? First thing we want to do is figure out the R. And in this case, I've got, I've got two R's. I've got, I'm going to label my points. Okay, so this is B and this is A. So R A is equal to 12 K from the origin, All right? So this is our first R. So, so this is going from O to A. So R O B is positive four in the I direction and it's positive 12 in the J direction. I've got to find U, A, B. So if I do that, this is four in the I direction. Is that still positive? It's four or 12 in the J direction, but it's minus 12 in the K direction. And that's gotta be divided by four squared plus 12 squared plus 12 squared. So this is gonna give me, and if I do F U A B, this is gonna end up being two times, or two times that and I'm gonna get 0.459 I plus 1.376 J minus 1.376 K. Now I just do the mathematics. I get M O A is gonna be R A cross F. That's gonna give me my I J K and I get zero, zero, 12 and I get my 0 0.4581.376 1 minus 1.376. That first one's just going to be zero, so I don't have to mess with that. That second one, I've got a portion that's going to be there. So I'm going to end up with minus 12. I'm do this way. Yep, I get a minus, a minus 12. What's this one I'm doing? Uh, 
and that's in the J plus Oops, sorry. Oh, that's right, that one's in the J. The other one's in the I. That's the one that the K is the zero one. So I'm gonna get the, or if I do the I, I get the minus one, three, I get the plus one, three, seven, six times 12. Except that's the minus one on the second part. And that one is gonna be in the I. So I'm gonna get something that looks like minus 16.5 I plus 5.51 J. I can do the same thing for MOB. I, J, K, except now it's 4, 12, 0, and I still get my point 4, 5, 9, 1, 3, 7, 6, 1, 3, 7, 6, and that's a negative. And if I do all of that together, I'm going to get the minus 16.5 plus, and that's in the I direction and I get the 5.51 in the J direction. So it didn't matter which, which R vector we use, we end up with the same moment about zero. All right, I'm gonna stop the share because I don't have time to do another one.